Hello you guys, it is Tuesday morning and welcome to the start of another weekly vlog. I am up starting this on a Monday. I actually thought yesterday it was Sunday and then pretty much had to stay up all night just to get my video edited and uploaded. But anyway, I'm super happy. I'm about to leave for PT. It's been so many weeks and I desperately, desperately need this. I also am super excited to just see Trish and just show off my progress, show her how much better I'm walking. And because it is still awareness month, I'm rocking a t-shirt that was designed by one of my friends as a fundraiser for her surgery. And I'm happy to report that she was finally able to have her surgery a couple weeks ago and is doing really, really well. But I kind of just love this shirt. This is super adorable. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's go. You wanna go outside? Can Christina walk on grass? Well, I guess we'll find out. Looks like the answer is sort of. Okay, so my payment with Trish went really well. My body was definitely in need of a tune-up. It was like one of those appointments where you realize just how far you've really come, but also how far you still have left to go. For the first time, like I got to walk in there with no wheelchair and everybody behind the counter was so excited and clapping and it was so great. Afterwards, we worked on walking with the knee brace unlocked, which was really exciting. But at the same time, when we were doing these exercises, I could feel just how much my body was relying on her and really just how little I'm able to do. Not even just how little I'm able to do, like just how little my body knows what to do. It's like my proprioception, my feeling of where I am in space is completely off in every way. So we still have a long way to go. But anyway, one step at a time, literally. Now I think I'm gonna hook up to some saline and try to get back to the room organization. Maybe work on a couple of bracelets. But something that's really cool is that one of you guys sent me this in the mail. This is called the Spoonie Planner and it was sent to me by a lovely young woman named Julia. I think she had gotten it for herself and just decided that she wasn't really getting a lot out of it, so she sent it my way, which I'm very excited about. Every single day, you can keep track of what you're doing, but also how you're feeling and your pain levels. And then each week has its own spot for doctor's appointments and stuff like that. Emergency contacts or just like regular contacts, doctor's names, whatever little pocket here from, with a card from her. This is super cool. I wonder if I will be able to keep up with it. I'm definitely going to link these below because I've seen them on Instagram before and I think that this could be a really really helpful tool for some of you guys too. So thank you so much Julia. That was really sweet of you. I'm definitely gonna give this a good go. <sighs> you guys have no idea how much I've been wanting to get out here. <sighs> definitely the best seat in the house. Hello you guys. It is Wednesday, so something that I don't think I've really even talked about on this channel at all. As part of my condition, I have adrenal insufficiency. Some people would call it Addison's disease, but that's kind of more when it's a standalone thing. We think it's all part of like the EDS bundle, so we just call it adrenal insufficiency. But it's pretty much the same animal when it comes to managing it. Basically, my body doesn't make the steroids and hormones that it's supposed to to function. So my body doesn't make something called cortisol. It can, I've had a cortisol stimulation test. Turns out I can make cortisol. It's just that it doesn't. Story of my life. Cortisol is basically it's like adrenaline. It's what keeps you going. It's your energy. And when you don't have it, it's really bad. So for the last five-ish years or so, I have been taking doses of it throughout the day to keep my body going. It's just what I do. I don't think too much about it. If I have a surgery or a procedure that puts any kind of stress or is especially taxing on my body, we always pre-medicate and post-medicate with extra high emergency doses of steroids. But this also means that when I get run down, my body sometimes can't keep up and my cortisol levels drop and I can run into trouble. Usually when things get kind of off, I can tell and then I rest. Yesterday I didn't do that. I made the decision to just keep pushing myself. I just completely ignored 
all of the red flags that my body was trying to send me. And that kind of led me into a crisis point where all of a sudden I realized that I was in trouble. So when I tend to overdo things, my body starts to show symptoms of what we call adrenal fatigue. And for me, that's usually just like overall, I don't feel super great. I get dizzy. I get nauseous. I have a hard time keeping my eyes open. I get a bad headache and chills and aches. And usually that is my cue to go in bed and watch some Netflix. I ignored those red flags. <laughs> and it progressed to a point that I have not let it progress before. I started to feel super, super weak along with all of those other symptoms and I just could barely keep my eyes open and I could barely move. The aches were just so bad and I was shaking. But that weakness really started to take over. It was kind of going over in my brain. I was like, well, I just unhooked a saline infusion. Maybe I dropped my potassium and I'm going into paralysis. And I started to get this like really bad cramping in my lower back and it went down the back of my legs and I was like, oh snap, this is adrenal crisis. And it just started to go downhill from there to the point where I just couldn't move, couldn't talk, couldn't open my eyes. I just got really lucky that my mom was in the room. As I was going out, my last coherent sentence was, call Bonnie. Because my friend Bonnie is a lot smarter than I am, and she is super educated in this stuff. And I knew that she would advocate well for me when I could no longer talk. So when most people would probably have called 911, my mom called Bonnie. And Bonnie walked my mom through, you know, what's going on? How's she doing? Can she talk? Why don't you try giving her some steroids? through the G-tube and set an alarm for a half hour. If she doesn't come around, you better get her butt checked out. If she does come around, then congratulations, you survived an adrenal crisis. So, needless to say, I survived, thanks to Bonnie. Should I have gone to the ER? I don't know, maybe. I think the act of getting to the ER would honestly just have made me worse. Contacted my doctor this morning. We talked about it. I'm getting in to see a specialist. Um, but that was new. So thank God that my mom was around and that Bonnie never goes to bed. I know these things happen, but I just feel kind of stupid for letting it happen. You know, I feel like I should have been doing a better job listening to the signs and taking care of myself. Instead, I decided to ignore the signs and push myself. It's hard sometimes though when it comes to this stuff because it's hard to explain to people who don't have this problem that you need rest because I don't think people like really understand like true fatigue if they've never felt it before. It's not the same as being tired. So I've had like a lot of encounters where it's like, oh sorry, you know, I, I'm not gonna be able to make it tonight because I just overdid it yesterday and I'm really tired. And they're like, yeah, I'm really tired too. And I'm like, mm, no, it's not quite the same thing. Like my body is really tired. Like I really wanna come, but you know, I, I can't move. Sorry. These days, everybody's tired all the time. And it's hard to explain that this is different. This is a different kind of tired. This is dangerous. I need to lay in bed all day sometimes and that's not laziness. That is just what I need to do. And when I do spend all day in bed, I feel pretty useless. And that's why I ran into this problem because it was just, I'm finally off bed rest and I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna do all the things now. And I just can't. So yeah, that was my uh, near-death experience for the week. And of course, you know, your girl, she vlogged herself trying to explain all of this to you guys last night. She thought she was being pretty darn coherent and did a really good job of explaining what was going on. I looked over that footage and let's just say that's why I'm explaining it to you now. That footage cannot be salvaged. <laughs> but don't worry. I'm feeling a lot better today. I made it my goal today to move as little as absolutely possible because tomorrow is my sister's birthday and I wanted to save up my energy for that. So I pretty much spent the entire day 
making bracelets. I will be restocking my Etsy shop with these. So you guys are gonna benefit from this. Oh, anyway, moral of the story. Don't overdo it. Listen to your body. Don't ignore those red flags. And make friends with people who are smarter than you. Who is the best sister ever? Lauren is gonna be so excited for her present. And I got us Mario Kart. And I got two extra controllers, so when we have friends over, we can play Mario Kart. I'm obviously actually pretty excited about this present myself. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday, May 31st, the final day of EDS Awareness Month. Christina, why are you dressed like you're about to go to a farm? Well, my dears, that is because I'm about to go to a farm because not only is today the last day of VDS Awareness Month, but it's also my sister's birthday. And for her birthday, she decided that she wanted to go to an animal rescue farm and see an animal show and interact with the animals. And I think that's a great idea. So we're going to a farm. <laughs> Watch out for his tail. Oh, good. We like feisty. <laughs> we all have to get the oh, Look at him. Like yeah, so his, his uh, Look, back is a lot harder than his belly because he has bone plates in there. Me too. mostly because I'm covered in emu oil and I feel guilty about that and I also feel like they're gonna try to mate with me so I'm just gonna stay out here uh oh <laughs> Do you smell me? Hi. <laughs> there that used to be one of those lamps <laughs> that was inside of the closure he doesn't usually come out of the water when he's out of the water and people walk in and, and this guy just jumped up and attacked it so these guys are not to be messed with daddy bring me to the links beautiful oh my god that's my favorite oh that is my, my favorite so far because I smell like emu. <laughs>
This lemur is so in love with the wheelchair. He keeps like <laughs> licking it. Bring on my toe. Aww. No, you just, I've seen how they stay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he might start humping you. <laughs> oh, I, think, I think that's what he's going for. <laughs> Lauren made a new friend. <laughs> I'm just gonna take her out for you. Oh my god. How much does he weigh? About 35, 40 pounds. Yeah, that's what I His name is Mordecai. <laughs> that is so cute. <gasps> what? Oh, oh no. no. Oh. You being trouble? He's going for the long haul escape method. Yeah, a lot of the animals were here were originally someone who tried the People who just didn't know what they were getting into, huh? Huh? A lot of people don't realize that. Reptiles get big. Oh. So she'll get between 15 and 20 pounds. She is super sweet though. Like apparently she's smart enough to be able to learn her name. Oh, so look at the like whiskers. Oh. oh my god. Is that a frog or what is that? It's an African pixie bullfrog. No, the second largest frog in the world. It feels like rubber. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> Is it a ferret? Yeah. Oh. He was actually rescued oh. from a lab. He's Look at him, he's like, I want attention. attention this whole time. It's your moment, bud. Got anything to say? Okay, well that place was not a farm. It's an animal rescue and they basically just take in any animals that need to be nursed back to health and then the ones that can't be released back into the wild for whatever reason come here to stay and they just have so many animals and they're so knowledgeable about every animal and about all of their backgrounds which is really sweet definitely love it here and I think this is the best birthday present that we ever could have given Lauren she loved it She's just such an animal person. I can see her working at a place like this. She knew like all of the different kinds of snakes that they had. She knew all the reptiles. She knew everything already. We took two different cars and so Lauren and her boyfriend just left. And so I'm having my mom run back in really quick and getting her a little commemorative t-shirt that we can wrap up for her birthday. So thank you so much Animal Adventures in Bolton, Massachusetts. Plus it was all reasonably wheelchair accessible and staff was super accommodating. Got my hydrocortisone. Don't worry, I'm refueling. 
no adrenal crises today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. And graduation. Happy birthday, dear Lord. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The big one? Do you want to get the big one out of the way first? Your very own tanning bed. <laughs> That looks so comfortable. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're never gonna get her back in the house. I'm gonna be. <laughs> You're gonna be a bronze goddess. You look so tiny. How's it feel? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Wanna we'll open the rest of your presents from there? <laughs> <gasps> what system is this on? Box, right? I don't know. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Oh my god. I don't it. know. Stop. Oh my god. <gasps> Charging dock. I'm not gonna open it. Oh yeah. That must be the Joy Cons. The Joy Cons. That's a really nice box. I know. The soft matte <laughs> packaging. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> oh. This is genius. It's a Bob's Burger, like, burger recipe book. Like, to make real burgers? Yeah. Uh, Any notable burger names? <laughs> Let's look the list. It's fun to eat at the Rye oh. MCA. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> if looks could kale burger. The final kraut down, bruschetta about it, <laughs> hummus a tune. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> what was, what, That's this good. is really fun. I love this. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> you got me a t-shirt. I know I would get home before you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's the biggest you. one they had, I hope, but anyway. You I figured cut you could cut off the sleeves. I like sleeves. it small, you know. How yeah. It, just for memories. But. So you can chop off the it's sleeves. It's a pretty blue color. Yeah. I always chop off the sleeves when I get a t-shirt. I really like the logo. But look at the back. Yeah. The back has oh. a big lizard on it. My sister went out with some friends to finish off her birthday night and I spent the night setting up this system. I finally got it working. Not super great with technology, but and I even tried to make it aesthetically pleasing by tucking a bunch of these wires through this basket here. I'm pretty proud of that. Not gonna lie, I've been playing Mario Kart by myself for a few hours. Oh, and here's that Bob's Burgers cookbook. This is so funny. I mean, my sister loves burgers and she and I love to watch the show. You've seen every episode like 200 times. So these are just like all of the burgers of the day from the show. And they actually give you a decent recipe to follow to make them. I hope she tries some of these. These actually look really good. Anyway, it's time for me to go to sleep. I am geeking out about new medical supplies again. I got new oxygen cannulas that came since the old one was really scratchy and it was making my nose bleed and my face bleed. So, new oxygen cannula, yay! It's the little things. And they ask me why I have interrupted sleep. Hello you guys, it is Friday. I did all the Friday things today. I went to physical therapy. It was great as always. We didn't really do any exercises because we're just, just still trying to be a little bit careful with my energy here as we had a little bit of a scare after physical therapy on Tuesday. 
but I really think, you know, it didn't have to do with physical therapy. It just had to do with overdoing it in general, you know? It was nothing specific that I did there that kind of threw me over the edge. I'm sporting my zebra leggings. Ehlers Danlos Awareness Month may be over, but unfortunately EDS lives on and so must I. So I'm still representing out there. Got a little bit more room cleaning done today. Everything's looking pretty neat except for like this corner of the room, but this just has like all the giveaway stuff, which is going to be getting out of here pretty darn soon. Guys, two more days. I'm so excited. I can't wait to pick a winner. But if you do not win, don't worry because like all those boxes over there on my desk, I definitely filled with stuff to give away. So I got you guys. Anyway, I'm still feeling a little bit drained. We did a lot yesterday and my body needs to recover. I need to go put my brace back on. Trish and I decided to keep me in the brace for a while because my fusion feels really, really good, really, really solid, like it's in the right place. But I don't know how to explain it. It feels fragile and she feels like that too. It's when they put that bone matrix, that bone putty that's supposed to fuse in, I feel like I can feel when it's pretty fused and right now it feels soft. I don't really know how to explain that to anybody who hasn't had like 20 spinal surgeries, but you just, you learn to know your body. And in order for this to be successful for the rest of my life, gotta wear that stupid hot brace a little bit longer. Anyway, I'm gonna go beat my sister's butt in Mario Kart. Just kidding, by the way, she's way better at Mario Kart than I am. I'm actually really, really bad. Hope that's not some kind of foreboding for my actual driving someday. Oh, look at that. Woo! Oh, and what are you, third? <laughs> oh my gosh, they have like the original N64, like Mario Brothers. Oh my gosh, our childhood, the nostalgia. Nana always had this. And we go over and play it. Yeah, I feel like I remember where every box is. <laughs> Alright guys, well I'm here to wish you good night. And I just wanted to update the like one of you out there who probably cares. But these new nasal cannulas are so much better. Just another instance of Bonnie coming through and saving the day. I swear that girl, I should just give her my YouTube channel. But like I don't know if you can see this, but the old cannula I was using, which is just this little like nose piece here. It was, it basically like rubbed my like nose and my lip like totally raw. So I was waking up with those bleeding, but not anymore. All right, well, good night, you guys. Hello, you guys. It is a Saturday night. I'm about to go to sleep. My body is just making it abundantly clear that I cannot keep going at the rate I've been going these last few weeks. It looks like I really need to be scheduling in more rest to my day. I had a lot of things I wanted to get done today. I figured, hey, like I would take it easy and I would do a lot of computer work today so it wasn't like so physically taxing. But anyone who has neurological vision issues knows that sometimes that is the most tiring kind of work you can do. So I had slated myself to do like three different projects and I only got like one and a half done today before I reached a point where I just could not continue. Luckily, I think I got the most important one out of the way, but it just involved a lot of going through old video files, finding stills, editing things. Unfortunately, it wasn't like stuff I could use my voiceover equipment for, which is usually what I do when I'm having bad vision days. Like halfway through the day, I had just completely depleted my energy to the point where um, I was getting close to that line of too far again, so I immediately stopped what I was doing, put my butt on the couch, put some Netflix on. I don't really know what's going on with my brain right now, but something's not doing its job. So I was just having a lot of weird symptoms, like losing my vision, seeing stars, and getting tingly, and getting headaches, and nausea, and all those kind of like 
brain things. My poor mom, she was like, I'm so tired, I have to go to bed, but I don't wanna leave you. So she just went to sleep on the couch next to me. <laughs> I just like really wanna be low maintenance for a little while, but it apparently isn't in the cards. And speaking of that, like my shoulder is still in so much pain and I have to keep asking for help. Like sometimes I can't even get dressed on my own and that's really frustrating, so. I think that I'm gonna ask the orthopedic this week when I have the follow-up for my knee if maybe he could take a look at my MRIs from three years ago or maybe order some more and we could see if there's anything going on in there that he thinks we could improve or if he thinks that the nerve blocks is really the best bet for us because I just I don't know anything about shoulders except for the fact that they're really hard to fix and don't really tend to last. But I'm getting to the point where this pain is really affecting my life and I think it's affecting me more than I even realize with this eye-opening adrenal stuff. I think it's just like the combination of all of the different kinds of pain and healing that I'm going through as well as me trying to get back to an active lifestyle. It's, it's just putting way too much stress on my body. And so if I could just make a step to try to eliminate some of that pain, even just temporarily, I think that's worth it. But obviously, I'm not looking to jump into another surgery. But just like to touch on the adrenal stuff again, I don't think I realized the severity of what I was experiencing while I was experiencing it. And I don't even think I realized the severity of it after I experienced it. I've been doing some research and I mean, I got really lucky that I had someone around and I had contacted someone knowledgeable and that we had the correct medication at hand immediately. I was in trouble, a lot of trouble, and I could have easily slipped into a coma and I mean, if no one was around, I could have died. And that's always really sobering. I think I just get so used to the craziness that my body is constantly putting me through that it doesn't always hit me just how fragile I am and just how important it is to be managing all of these things. So I'm gonna put like a little um, thingy here with some of the symptoms to look for for adrenal fatigue and adrenal crisis because I think it's really important to know those symptoms as it can look like other neurological issues that we deal with like POTS or seizures or hypokalemic paralysis or mast cell attacks. It's really important to stay educated on so that you know when you are experiencing this and how to go about handling it. And I don't really know the extent of how this is affecting me or how long this could have been affecting me. Looking back and looking at that symptom list, this could be an answer to some of the symptoms that have plagued me from the very beginning when I was just a kid. I don't know and I guess I'm gonna find out and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. But I am going to go to sleep now. I am wiped out managed to take a shower though so i'm pretty proud of myself i feel like you guys understand just how big of a deal that could be <laughs> we always celebrate the little thing taking a shower is not always an easy task all right well my battery is telling me that it is time to say good night see you in the morning good morning guys it is sunday morning i am feeling a lot better than i was yesterday which is great because we're about to have some family over for a barbecue which i'm really looking forward to and that's pretty much how we spend our entire summer it's just like around the fire pit on the deck having barbecues and it is just my favorite thing but in the meantime i have been just sitting here playing around with some jewelry ideas I got really inspired when we were on that retreat and we did like the metal stamping because I had like half of the equipment that I needed to do metal stamping but I had kind of just like never followed through with that hobby. Being there and seeing how beautiful everyone's bracelets turned out, I immediately just ordered the rest of the stuff that I needed and it definitely takes a lot of practice. I was trying to use, like I thought it would make my life easier, this little thing that helps you to hold 
the stamp when you're hitting it. I figured that that would give me more accurate results, especially with my shaky hands. I did make two little prototype ones just to try it out using that thing. And I think it actually made it more difficult for me. If you can see, these both say hope. This one has an awareness ribbon and this one has a little heart on it but the letters aren't spaced very well. I just found it really difficult to try to space out the letters with the holder thing. So I think I'm going to try to make another one just free-handed because I really want to make a little necklace for my sister with the first letter of her name and the first letter of her boyfriend's name. So wish me luck, I'm gonna try that free-handed. here we have the final little necklace for my sister and I think it turned out really good and so I'm kind of wishing that I free handed the first two. My ultimate goal with this was really to make like medical alert jewelry that wasn't super ugly and I think with some practice I'm gonna be able to do that. This also means that yes I've finally been able to pick up my hammer again which means that I can start making tube clips again which I know a lot of you guys are excited about because I've been getting so many messages about when those were going to be available again. Yes, I will be relisting those in my shop for those of you who have been asking. It's time to pound some snaps. Anyway, I have people coming over in like five seconds and I'm 0% ready. So I'll talk to you guys later. We surveyed 100 people and the top... Um, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> the top six answers to this question are on the board. Are on the board. <laughs> Name something that is not good for you. Hi guys, it is now time for me to hit the hay. I had a really nice time tonight hanging out with family. I'm starting to feel a little bit more myself and recover from that little episode earlier in the week, but. I know that I have to be really careful as much as I want to stay up all night and finish editing this video to have it ready for upload tomorrow. I don't want to make the same mistake that I made last week. I have a very busy week coming up and I'm already a little bit concerned about when I'm going to be able to rest. I can't really change any of my plans around as, you know, they're pretty important doctor's appointments and then I'm seeing a show this weekend that I've had tickets for for you know, six or seven months. But I would be lying if I said that I wasn't at least a little bit concerned about my busy schedule. I'm thinking about reaching out to my primary care and asking if maybe I should be on a little bit higher dose of steroids just for now until I'm able to get to my appointment with that endocrinologist. But I mean, I really don't know if that's something she can do and is willing to do. So fingers crossed. I hope I don't need it, but as things have been going, I feel like I'm just depleting my energy too quickly. I'm not going to worry about it now. There's no point in worrying about it. I had a nice night. We played this like hilarious game of Family Feud. My mom has this like weird stash of super old board games that are like ridiculously outdated and don't really even apply anymore. And we all got a big kick out of some of the cultural changes that have taken place since that game was made. I feel like I could talk to you guys on and on, but I feel like I gotta cut this off. Oh, wait, okay, it's after midnight officially, so the giveaways have ended, both the YouTube and the Instagram giveaway. Keep your eye on your email, keep your eye on your Instagram messages. The YouTube one is super easy for me to pick a winner. I just have to press a button, but the Instagram one is gonna take me a few days to tally up all of the entries and I do want to announce the winners at the same time. So it is Sunday night so in a few days I will probably be announcing the winners of the EDS Essentials giveaway. I have been blown away by how many people entered and how many people will share their story and put themselves out there. You guys are so fantastic. I am just so touched by you guys as a community. And I think that you did a phenomenal job of speaking up and making your voices heard during this last month. Zebra strong. All right, well, this is the part of the video where I have to say, if you liked this video, it'd be cool if you would give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you want to see more videos, I post them every single week. There's always that subscribe button and that bell. And I will be seeing you guys next week. Good night and goodbye.